Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. The Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse one. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So Solomon, hold on, bro. Solomon's father was King David. Let's see what color King, King Solomon was. Read verse five. I am blood, but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Read that. Read that again. I am blood. What did Solomon say? I am blood. Did you know that was documented in the Bible, bro? Solomon is a black man. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 1. It's a white man. Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. What did God say? The word that came from Jeremiah. That came to Jeremiah from the Lord. It says the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. So who wrote this Bible? Stop. This black man Stop. wrote this Bible. Did well, you know that? Was not King Give me Joe 30. No, he was not. He was a black man. So if you, how do you know he's a white man? King James. Give me Joel 30. So if the white man wrote this book, let's see if, let's see what the Bible says. If the white man wrote the Bible. What's your question? We're going to Joel 30 and 30. I know the word. I know the church. Okay, listen to this then. The book of Joel, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. What did God say? My skin is black upon me. What did Job say? My skin is black upon me. Give me another black shirt. Give me Solomon real quick. So Job, if the white man wrote the Bible, why would he have that documented in the book? Job wrote the book of Job through the spirit of God. He said his skin is black upon him. Ain't no white man write this Bible. Hold on, I got something for you. Because that's the first thing our people run up there and say, but they never read the Bible. Read. The Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So Solomon, hold on, bro. Solomon's father was King David. Let's see what color King, King Solomon was. Read. Verse 5. I am blood, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Read that, read that again. I am blood. What did Solomon say? I am blood. Did you know that was documented in the Bible, bro? Solomon is a black man. You understand that? Who was his father? I'm asking you a question. Who was King Solomon's father? Solomon said he is black, right? He is black and he's beautiful, right? Job said that he's black. His skin is black upon him, right? Now, this is who King Solomon's father is. Read. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 1. Now the days of David drew not. Now the days of David. King David, he slew Goliath with a stone. Right? This is what we're talking about. Now the days of David drew not. That he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son. He what? He charged Solomon, his son. So who was Solomon's father? Who? So if Solomon was a black man, what color was King David? He was a black man. That's what we bring it out to our people because we've been lied to. You understand that? When they put us in shackles and chains, guess what? They took our identity from us. They beat us and told us, you're no longer an Israelite, you're black. You're African American, you're a Negro, you're colored. You understand what I'm saying? But according to the Bible, we're the Israelites. Did your pastor teach you that? What's, what, what tribe are you from? You said, yeah, you know you're an Israelite. What tribe are you from? That's cool, I, I, I understand that. But what tribe are you from? You said, yes, your pastor taught you that you was an Israelite. What tribe are you from? No, what tribe are you from? It's 12 tribes of Israel. Do you know what tribe you're from, brother? You don't. What about you? Now, give me Jeremiah real quick. Let's see about the Jews. Let's read about the Jews. What color are the Jewish people? What color are the Jews today? The people, the people, they white, right? Okay, what do you say? They say they're black and white. We don't see what the Bible says. Solomon and King David was from what tribe? Do you know? They were from the tribe of Judah. They was Jews. Judah 
Jew is short for Judah. You understand? So the Jews are black according to the Bible. We're going to read that. Amen. Read. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah morning. What does the Lord say? Judah morning. Remember, I said Jew is short for what? Judah. Yes. Judah. You understand? Like your name might be Chris or Christian. We call you Chris. Short for what? Christian. That's what Jew is short for. It's short for Judah. Christ was from the tribe of Judah. Watch this. Read it again. Judah morning. In the gates there are language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. So ain't no such thing as the Jews as black and white. The Bible says they're black. You understand me? So we read in Isaiah 60. Give me that again. Isaiah 65. So we read that the Israelites will leave their name for a curse. A curse is being called something outside of your godly name. You will be called an African American today, right? Or black. Same for you, right? You are from the tribe of what? Judah. You understand? That's your real nationality. You're not black. You're not African American. Those names was placed on us in slavery. You understand? You get it. You understand that? Now watch. We're going to read it out of the Bible. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. What did God say? And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So God said that we will leave our names. Meaning, hey brother right here, what's your name again? Henry. Henry. Hey bro right here in the gray shirt. I want you to pay close attention to what we're bringing out. You just walked up, right? Chris. Your name, Chris. Henry. Clyde. Clyde. So we got Chris, Henry, and Clyde. Henry. I mean, Chris, you just walked up. So what we was going over was, according to the Bible, what color the Jews are. They are black. You already said? Well, you, you got to go? Okay, so watch this. Read what you got real quick. Let's see why we're called African Americans today. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. What did the Lord say? And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. So God says, hey Chris, God said that we will leave our true nationality, the, the tribe of Judah, for a curse. Meaning to be called African American. Call this nigga. Is that our name? No, it's not. That was a name that was placed on us. You understand? So can you change someone's nationality? Aren't they a poor father? Exactly. So how when we came over here, when we first came over here, I believe they called us color. And then, time later, they called us Negro. And then, time later, when we started wearing Afros in the 70s, they called us Afro-American. A hairstyle. We gotta li listen good, brothers. We came out here to show y'all who y'all are, according to this Bible. We ain't come out here for no violence. We ain't come out here for none of that. We came out here to bring our people back to their heritage that was taken away from us because we broke the commandments. You understand? Then, after they called us Afro-Americans, they called us what? African-Americans. And then they say, you know what, dog? Let's take that over. Let's, don't call them African-Americans. Let's call them black. You understand what I'm saying? Read that again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay me and call his servants by another name. So God called us by another name because we broke the commandments. Let's prove that in Deuteronomy chapter 28. I read in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 4 where it says, and 1 and 3, I read verse 3 and verse 4. It says, the ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel don't know who they are. Neither do we consider that we are the true Jews of this Bible. Why? Because we are a sinful nation. We break God commandments on top of God commandments on top of God commandments. You understand that? We're serving other gods. Abortion is taking place in our community. Murder is taking place in our community. All of these things are taking place in our community. And God is angry with us. He's upset with us. Until we come back to this Bible, we're going to stay in a lower state as we are as a people. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
destroy in the Lord. 